it's going on. Following a while of secrets and an entire boatload of theory, the new Ford Ranger Raptor was at last uncovered today in Bangkok, Thailand. This comes a long time after the Rangers US make a big appearance at the Detroit Auto Show. It's misty regardless of whether the truck will make it over to our shores this age, however we wouldn't get our expectations up. In any case, it's energizing to know it's out there and that the Chevy Colorado's ER2 and Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro have some opposition not too far off. From the fat bumpers to the overhauled suspension, the Ranger Raptor looks simply like a little scale F-150 Raptor. That is precisely what the greater part of us were seeking after. In advance, the Ranger Raptor swipes the F-150S grille, supplanting the blue oval with passage in huge piece letters. The steel front guard includes LED lighting and new streamlined air blinds. There are a couple of toe snares and a bash plate just underneath the nose. The bumpers are essentially more extensive. Simply take a gander at the additional sheet metal on the edges of the headlights. The bumpers give the additional width expected to fit the long travel suspension and more extensive haggles. The truck is 67.3 inches wide at the front and back tracks. The new guards and 11.1 crawls of ground leeway give the truck an approach point of 32.5 degrees, incline over edge of 24 degrees and a flight edge of 24 degrees. Out back, the adjusted back guard now has a couple of toe snares. The sensors and toe connectors have been changed, as well. While the Ranger Raptor is more extensive in general, it doesn't appear as though the bed's inside measurements have been expanded. There are presently Raptor logos on the back bumper and the rear end. Changes to the inside are considerably more unobtrusive. The directing wheel has a stripe in the center to indicate the best position. The seats have a false calfskin complete and an addition adjusted supports and seat maneuvers keeping in mind the end goal to enhance comfort. The truck's enormous changes come underneath the skin. The frame, brakes and suspension have all been augmented to better handle harsh territory. Portage particularly says the truck is intended to go at high speeds rough terrain, words we're very cheerful to hear. The strong back pivot is suspended utilizing coilovers and a Watts Connect setup. It furnishes vertical development with next to no horizontal moving. The geometry has additionally been changed to fit the new suspension. The front and back dampers are both furnished by Fox Racing shocks with 46.6mm cylinders both front and back.